Okay, hi everyone. <clears throat> Let's see squint part two and neurothal questions again from Surat Airport. So just don't mind the voice can be a little less because of airport. So I am ready to solve the ten questions now. The first question is uh, primary gaze and right eye is looking straight and the left eye we can't see anything. There is a process and no pulse is been asked so we can't see left eye they can, there's not there's no squint in the right eye the reflex is looking straight which of the nerve pulses of the option given fourth nerve sixth nerve third nerve has ptosis only one that is third nerve supplies lps so this is a ptosis so this has to be left side third nerve pulse if we elevate then i will see down and out eye down because of so out because of lr Hypo and exotropia. Even pupils can be dilated because third nerve supplies the uh, <coughs> efferent of the pupil pathway. Pupil reactions are lost. Near reflex is lost. That is the point you should know in third nerve palsy. Here question is just by common sense. See if you know ptosis is there only in one uh, nerve palsy. See if they want to ask you a question, they can ask you a question in the image only of third nerve, fourth nerve, sixth nerve. Third nerve will have ptosis. Sixth nerve will have exotropia. Fourth nerve palsy will have hypertropia because SO is not working, eyeball will go up. Again, sixth nerve palsy, esotropia, fourth nerve palsy, hypertropia, and third nerve palsy, down and out eye with ptosis. <coughs> now, this is not an ampsular grid. If they want to show ampsular grid, that's a macular function test, they will show you one chart that is one eye at a time. And either they will show you 400 squares normal or metamorphosial. Now this is not Paley Robson, that's for contrast sense, not Edris Danton, this is for uh, color uh, vision. This is Hess chart or Lee's chart for incompetent squint. There is a limitation of eye movements. Interpretation is not ours. This is for underacting, overacting muscles for incompetent squint and limitation of eye movements. This is Hess chart, subjective test. Now suction is duction, sorry. Post duction test is not true. Post duction, you move the eyeball passively. If it's a restricted squint, you can't be able to move the eyeball. That is a positive test. In paralytic, patient cannot move the eyeball, but you can freely move the eyeball passively. So sixth nerve palsy is a paralytic, so it is a negative test. That is wrong. Blood fracture is a restricted squint. IR is restrictive. So patient has difficulty looking up. You also have difficulty in moving the eyeball. That is positive test. It differentiate paralytic from restrictive, that is true. And it is an objective test. You don't ask the patient, you try to move the eyeball passively. It is negative in paralytic squints. That is the answer of this question. Now, squint has binocular diplopia. When both eyes are open, then the patient has diplopia. And you close any eye, the diplopia goes away. Uniocular diplopia can be seen in polychoria, as high astigmatism, intumescent cataract. That goes away when closing the affected eye. And binocular diplopia is maximum in the direction of paralyzed muscle. For example, if there is a right LR palsy, the patient will have maximum diplopia looking right. That's why we will come with right face turn. Because on looking left, the diplopia is maximum. For example, right LR palsy, the patient will have maximum diplopia looking right. And he will come with right face turn. Because in right face turn, the eyeballs go to the left. And in eyeballs go to the left, there will not, not be any diplopia in right LR palsy. So that is also true, binocular diplopia goes away when closing either eye is true. In lateral lattice palsy, there is horizontal diplopia. LR, MR are good muscles, they work only in horizontal axis, they will only horizontal diplopia. In SO, SR, IR and IAO palsy, then there is a vertical, horizontal and torsion diplopia. But in LR palsy, there is only horizontal diplopia. Now the test is a maddox ross test. It is a cylinder. If rod is kept in front of right eye with the axis horizontal, the patient will see a vertical line from the right eye and a torchlight from the left eye. It is a test of binocularity because if left eye is not functioning, he will see only a vertical red line. If right eye is not functioning, he will see only a torchlight. Now in right eye suppression, if right eye is not working, the patient will see a vertical line. That is wrong. He will see only a torchlight. That is the answer. Now esophoria. There is a uncrossed diplopia. Now the interpretation is taken as a patient's view. This is the question. If this is the scene, the patient is normal. So patient view means you are the patient. This is the interpretation, you are the patient. If the patient says, I am seeing the line on the right side in this question, 
at the toss rate on the left side, this is uncrossed diplopia that is seen in esophoria. That was true. C is true statement. Crossed is seen in exo. <coughs> if the patient is exo, there is cross diplopia. The patient says, I see the line on the left side. This is the cross diplopia. So patient view interpretation is very, very important in Maddox rod. Works on the principle of breaking the fusion of the eye. Even if you don't know, you should know. The right eye suppression, the patient will see a dot. That is not a vertical line. That is wrong straight. Now this is right eye straight, left eye inside. Left esotropia of 45 degrees. Now if this picture is a 6 nerve palsy, which cannot be the cause. Now this is 6 nerve palsy. Eh? LR palsy, that's why right, left esotropia. The cause can be affecting the siphon in any of the pathway. SOF, cavernous sinus, inside the orbit, diabetes, hypertension is the most common cause, ischemia. Trauma can cause this. Cavernous sinus lesion on the same side can cause this. Six nerve, superabled fissure can cause this. But nuclear, if you know at pons, so nuclear lesion at pons has supplying to the same LR and opposite MR also via medial longitudinal uh, fascicles internuclear uh, internuclear fibers so if there is a nuclear involvement of the abducens nerve there is a horizontal gaze palsy for example if your right abducens nucleus is damaged right LR and left MR are not working the eyes will be deviated on the left side conjugate and there is no diplopia there so this cannot be this is only one eye squint there is a conjugate squint in nuclear six nerve so this cannot be the, C cannot be the cause. Now, whenever the visual field is given, it is also taken as patient's view. So this is left homonymous hemianopia. That is seen in right side lesions. Behind the chiasma, optic tract or proximal lobe? Optic tract, because there is no macular sparing over here. And this is a symmetrical defect. Cortical blindness is seen in unformed hallucinations, Anton sign in, in occipital lobe lesions. Both occipital lobes are damaged. That is Anton sign. Pupil reactions are normal because that is not involved in the uh, occipital lobe is not involved in the pupil pathway. And these are unformed hallucinations, not formed. Unformed means the patient will see colors, patterns. Formed hallucination means patient will see formed objects like color, like he will see Gada, Ghoda, Billy, Guy. Whole object is seen. That is in temporal lobe lesions, not in occipital lobe lesions. Now patient has right hypotropia, right eye is going down. The squint is increasing on looking right. Right hypo means either the right elevators are not functioning or left depressor is not functioning. Maybe the left eye is up. So right elevators are right SR and right IO. And left depressors are left SO and left IR. It is increasing on looking right means just choose the right side muscles. Means either the answer is right SR or it is left SO. And superiors come with opposite head tilt. The patient is coming with left head tilt. Right SR palsy comes with left head tilt. That is the answer. Left SO palsy comes with right head tilt. I shared a uh, box 3 step test question also on YouTube. You should see that. A 20 year old girl has decreased vision in the left eye. Painful eye movements in a girl. Vision left eye. Pupil reaction are sluggish. Blurred optic with bargain. Peripapillary goes in favor of optic neuritis. And painful eye movements, optic neuritis, that is demyelination, ultimately multiple sclerosis. Investigation for multiple sclerosis, MRI, brain and orbit. To know, radiology question, to know the brain involvement, periventricular plaques, dorsal and fingers. That is the investigation of choice to know the optic nerve status and the brain status also. That is the 10 questions. I have to catch my flight. Okay. Bye. Best of luck.